Hello all, and welcome to this evening's canned cocktail review, which I am dubbing the rocking chair review. I got, got my rocking chair. <laughs> kind of happy about that. <laughs> Boy, um, so why am I doing a review on a work night? Well, why not? <laughs> my co-workers drive me to drink. So, yeah, probably just going to have one or two tonight and um yeah what are we reviewing well this was a gift from randall as we all know guy who likes my reviews i'm going to try to be funny in this one don't know if i can just maybe a little too tired but i'm going to give it my best Gumbote. anyways what are we reviewing this is from dogfish Te dogfish head distilling company and it's a canned cocktail culinary crafted cocktails vodka crush Blood Orange and Mango, this is 7.0 ABV, and let's read the verbiage on the back now. Inspired by the sun, surf, and beaches of our seaside home, we crafted a new take on the crushed cocktail that is both citrus-forward and crushable. At its heart, vodka distilled with blood oranges and mango, then topped with orange and mango juice and a touch of citrus. Bursting with juicy flavors, yet light and refreshing. This cocktail is unfiltered. Some sediment is natural. Canned by Dogfish Shed Distilling Company, Milton, Delaware, under special agreement, Memphis, Tennessee, and La Crosse, Wisconsin, in collaboration with the Boston Beer Company. Okay. Yeah. And May 2023. So I didn't know. That's a, quite a bit of collaboration there. <laughs> You know, after this, I might just go and, but, um, yeah, I have a sweet potato and some lamb sag that's cooking up for dinner. So, yeah, let's just get to this. And thanks again to Randall for donating this for review. And I haven't actually drank the first can of this. This is going to be, um, you know, first impression here into the uh, tumbler glass. And I'm not expecting, my, oh, my goodness. That is rich mango smelling. Ooh. So yeah, what it says on the label, mango and blood orange. You can kind of see um, a very pale, very straw, very pale straw yellow, nicely carbonated. Yeah, so blood orange and mango. I would say the mango definitely is much stronger than the blood orange, but both of them are very perceptible and very strong. Okay, on to the palette now, shall we? Mm. So while I wouldn't say that this is dry by any means, it is well balanced. The, the flavors are yeah. So it kind of comes across more like um, a salt, a slightly sweetened seltzer level level of sweetness. The The blood orange actually shows up more on the palate than the mango does in an interesting reverse of the nose. And it definitely doesn't feel like a 7.0 ABV beverage. But then since the base liquor is vodka, that's probably the reason vodka always feels light on the palate uh, when, you know, mixed into a cocktail, I find, which is why it's so popular for that purpose. Mm. Yeah, there's this nice tartness up front from the blood orange and citrus. It actually um, decreases quite a bit. 
and you're left with more of the mango in the finish. And I have to go and point out that all the flavors in here taste really natural. It doesn't taste artificial at all. Yeah, this is this is quite enjoyable. The acidity of it um, kind of dry it dries on the palate, even though it's you know it, it dries out the palate even though it's not dry perceptively speaking taste wise you know you got that sweetness there but just the acidity of it dries the palate physically this is quite crushable i have to say and at 7.0 that's a little bit dangerous <laughs> Mm. Kind of a tart sourness in the mids, especially from the citrus and blood orange. So, yeah, not really getting any of the liquor taste here, but that's fine. That blood orange and mango being so natural tasting and so well balanced off of each other. You know, there's a nice interplay in the top note. Yeah. I have to say, I'm, you know, I haven't reviewed all that many canned cocktails. But I have to say, this is definitely the best one that I've had. You know? Mostly due to the fact that it's not overly sweet. And the flavor additives from the juices are just really high quality and really distinct and well mixed. I could definitely see, well, I wouldn't buy this because, you know, these canned cocktails are always more expensive than beer, but. I could definitely see myself putting away a few of these at a party and then regretting it after. <laughs> you know, especially one where you're dancing or something like that, because it's refreshing. And it's pretty rare to have something that's 7.0 and have it still be refreshing. You know what I mean? So. Vodka Crush Blood Orange and Mango from Dogfish Head Distilling. Tart, fruity, not art no artificial taste, well balanced. Yeah. Um, you know, I always expected like the first canned cocktail that would wow me would be a whiskey based one, you know, and very low on the list would be a vodka one. But this one honestly is just not so much because of the vodka the vodka is just like a blank palette there but the fruit is just so quality and well mixed i, I kind of blows me away thanks again to randall for donating this um you definitely knew what you were doing when you suggested this one because this is damn good kind of wonder where you Obviously, I think you got it in Hawaii, but I'm, I haven't seen this on the shelf. It's probably at that bottle shop in Aiea that he goes to that I've never been to because Aiea is like terra incognita for me, you know. Here there be dragons and Pearl Ridge. <laughs> so, yeah, that is your cocktail review for this evening. And I'm going to go and make dinner now and then pop open another one and probably go and pass out face first in my pillow to sleep for about 10 hours. <laughs>
<laughs> no, it's probably only going to be eight hours because I got to work tomorrow. But you know how it is. Cheers.